Hi, this is Arlene, and I am going to be demonstrating iPlan lessons for you today. When I use this app, I first start with adding my students so that we know who we're writing these lessons for. So I will have some fictitious students for you. Now, after I've done my students, I need to say what class they're in. I'll have one in kindergarten. And I'll make this one Sue. And then I'm going to have a second class, second grade. I'll make this person John. That's my other student. Okay, so I've done, I've added my students, I've added my classes. My next addition would be my resources. And I have some resources here. I'm going to add one more. And that will be uh, history world. And you can add different notes about this resource. You can add your publisher. Whatever you want to add, you can add. You must have at least the name of the resource. I'm going to also add a lesson so you can see it. I have some lessons here. I'm going to add it by hitting the Add button. I'm going to say we're going to study uh, Rome. That's the name of this lesson. It is for history. And we're going to start this in the new year. On the third. And we'll study this for, let's say, 10 days. And we're going to use history book. This will be for our second grade class. You can add your objectives. You can add your standards. Make some notes about how you want to teach this. The assignment will be to uh, fill in the map and out answer questions at the end of the lesson. You can also see how, show where you are in this lesson. Is it still being worked on? Are we almost done? Are we done? How high of a priority is it? How do we verify that this assignment is completed? You have these different options to add to the lesson. Now that's done. To delete a lesson, you're going to go to Edit, and you'll see these red dots with a line through it. Touch that, and you show the Delete button, and then you just hit Delete, and you're done. So we have written up our lessons. We finished the Rome. Now that we have done that, we can go and see how it looks on the calendar. So we made all the lessons for January 3rd. But now I want to extend my lesson past one day. I want to do Rome once a week for the next four weeks. So I'm going to tap on this three weeks. The first lesson counts as one. I have three more weeks to make up four weeks altogether. I'll say I want it once a week. You saw that this changed from 3 to 1, don't worry about that. The information has already been captured. I'm going to say OK. I'm done with that. Now I'm going to refresh this calendar page and I now have Rome, that Rome lesson. First week here, second week, and here it says second copy. Here's the third week, third copy. Here's the fourth week, fourth copy. Now, if I want to go in and change anything about the lesson, let's say that we have finished some of these um, assignments and now we have a test, I'm going to edit this and this assignment's going to be different now. I'm going to just select all, all of that and just capture what I don't want right up to here. 
I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to say chapter test. Okay, I have made that change. It will come up in there. That's the f end of that unit. Now once I'm done here, if I want to go see the report, I want to see the report for second grade. And when I open it up, I have already put in second grade, subject by day, starting. Well, let's edit this and say I want to start that on a Monday instead of a Sunday. Because school doesn't start on a on a Sunday. It's we usually are on Mondays. Okay. Ready for the next four weeks? Second grade. Let's go back to the report. Run this report. There's the report. And oh, this is subject by day for five days. So I have the first week. If I want to go in and change that instead of subject by day. Well, that I can take this one. Subject by day, days in the report. I'm going to say weeks in the report. Well, let's do this. Let's change this. I want to see two weeks. So instead of five days, I want ten days. Done. Let's go back, run this report. And there I have it, two weeks. Now I can then place my email or send it to my student if I wanted to, if they have an email address, put in their email address, and then send it. I hit the mail when I'm done, hit mail, and it will pop up on your student's email. If you want it for your own record, send it to your own email. And then you can, from there, actually print a hard copy if that's what you need. Okay, that ends our first lesson. Hope you, hope you like it. Thanks.